Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're moving away from Baxter Springs, Kansas and over to Auburn, located in Fakir, Virginia, on October 13th, 1863. Union forces were led by Major General William H. French and 2,000 soldiers from the 3rd Corps and assisted by Brigadier General Governor K. Warren's troops from the 2nd Corps, while the Confederate forces were led by General Jeb Stuart. The end result was a draw. <laughs> on the morning of October 13th, Confederate General Lunsford L. Lomax's brigade moved into Auburn to wait for General Jeb Stuart's troops. In an effort to gain an understanding of the situation, Lomax ordered scouts east and found Union Brigadier General John Buford's cavalry guard in a supply train. Lomax made a miscalculation, though, and never ordered scouts to go south, and therefore never knew that the 2nd and 3rd Union Corps under the command of French and Warren were approaching. Stuart joined Lomax later that day and then left Lomax behind to continue on to Caitlet Station to get a closer look at the Union supply train. Lomax was left with his troops at Auburn. Later that afternoon, French and Warren's troops arrived at Auburn. French made his own mistake and ordered Brigadier General Judson Kilpatrick and his Union cavalry to guard his left flank instead of being the scouts ahead. This mistake would cost the Union as they ended up walking right into the Confederates in Auburn with no expectation that anyone was there. The fighting was so unexpected that when the fighting started, French and his command staff ended up being at the head of the Union column and they were forced to engage the Confederates with their own revolvers. The Confederates were caught off guard as well and attempted to charge the Union line but were pushed back by canister shot. By 5 p.m. the Confederates withdrew back to a deep ravine only 300 yards from the Union and stayed there waiting for help. The battle resulted in approximately 50 combined casualties. The night after the battle, Stuart got word of the Union forces and sent word to Robert E. Lee, who had dispatched General Ewell at dawn to rescue Stuart and engage in what we will cover next time, the Second Battle of Auburn. Join us again next time for Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Mm -hmm.